if it's time. There we go. Okay, continue, sorry about that. It also gave the average person the basic understanding of how it worked, which was incredibly rare at its time. Even though the impact of the, the book had didn't seem significant at the time, it grip eventually became one of the key factors to the start of the computer-driven society we have today. Uh, I'll pull up the full screen. A primary reason why this book is highly regarded was its prediction of the personal computer. The computers of the 1970s were nothing like the computers being made today and would often take up entire rooms or even buildings. They were also primarily in the hands of large corporations in the military who often demonstrated computer priesthood wanting to get computers away from the public. In Computer Lib, Nelson predicted that in the future, everyone would have access to a computer, which was a very wild claim at the time due to all these factors. Today, thanks to the invention of the personal computer, Nelson's prediction did come true and the influence of it is definitely shown. Okay. While the title of the second book, Dream Machines, might seem odd, it refers to the power computers potentially had. Nelson frequently mentioned that computers could do things that humans cannot on their own, which causes Nelson to label them as machines capable of accomplishing your dreams. Okay. Even though computers back then were nowhere near as complicated as they are now, Nelson saw their potential and gave this as another reason why the public should have access to them. While computers and humans can accomplish similar tasks today, computers can also simplify them and do tasks that humans can only dream of, causing the name dream machines to still have truth in it today. Okay, good enough. I know you read it. Or at least copy and paste it. Uh, can you go to your code for this? Ah, uh, beautiful. I was wondering if you did that. You need to be paying attention. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the the using this to... inclusion thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, inclusion. Yeah, inclusion. Beautiful. Okay, you can check that down. Or X that out, sorry. Okay. Can you scroll down for me? So anything you want to add, tell us, liked it, didn't like it, useless, useful, too hard, too easy. It was a little harder than usual. It was somewhat difficult, but I eventually got past it. Did you use any of the videos or anything or no? I, I did remember it surprisingly well. Okay. Right. That's good. So any other questions, comments, or concerns? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, you can unshare your screen. Guess who's next? The only person left. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. So this one and which one is it? This one. That one. Oh, can you change? Change. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I got confused. Okay. So, your, wasn't yours black or something? Uh, the bar is up here or? No, okay. I'm just getting confused. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So the way I did it is I just use inclusions on awesome. all. So each one is a tivoli. So it's just here. And then I use that to link them all into like an essay format. Okay. So with the intro, inclusion, and the body. So... Okay, um, check mark this. So what would happen if we didn't want to read all this? We want to read different sections. Uh, I could make a list off of it, but it would have to be some, it has to be linked some way then. I didn't do that part. It would be just- A list link filter? Yeah, a list, yeah. I'll probably have to make that to list it together. Yeah. So do you want me to list it like within the test one or like like just as we may think? Okay, scroll up. The test one, sorry. Uh, oh. That's all right. 
So the first paragraph, does that go, it, where's that coming from? This one's coming from, as we may think, intro. Okay. And I can do this to kind of see where it's coming from. So I want you to do it a list link filter and like a... At the top? No, or... it would be a new tiddler. Oh, okay. Basically, I'll put like my essay. And use yeah. your list link filter. Uh... It's, in one, it's in your very first tiddler that you made. Oh, about me. I can use this one, right? There yep. You and you just change the text. And uh, essay. I did essay. I didn't know what to use as a. That's all right. It's an essay. Perfect. So, which way do you like better if you had to read this? Uh, I'd probably like to read it together as this has as I have it right now. Fenner, how would you? read it. Do you prefer that one huge um, thing or separate it so you jump to different sections? Yeah, I would probably read it as the whole thing. Well, tough. It's in my class. So the object is interactive text. So it's interactive, but it's not interactive. I you think because I'm looking at like a traditional essay. So when I nope. think Tradi when I think of like that, I but I can see what you mean. Like you want to jump from one to another and interact with what you're reading. Okay, so, just go straight up to your my um, essay. Yep. That's what I mean right there. As we may think, intro, concept, creation, concept. That's the way we should be seeing everything because it's okay. interactive text. I mean, there is, technically, there is no right or wrong way to do it. Um, the way you wrote is more of a traditional essay, like you said, which we don't want traditional in this class. Right. But it doesn't mean it's wrong, and it doesn't mean it's right. You just got to think of it as an... Say you have a 50 page book, you only want to read one section, what do you do? I, I, yeah, I can see your point. Like if we wanted to know one thing, uh, then we could just jump right into it and be like, what is concept realization? Yeah, just... so that is called a what? Uh, index or, oh, <laughs> hyperlink? No, index. It's your oh, index. index. Okay, I, just, I didn't get an answer, so I just don't. So. <laughs> no, it's your index for your essay. Yep. So take us through your essay. Okay, so so it's hard to like kind of like write about this off of the Wikipedia because it's very sum they summarize it already. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't want to seem like I was like copy and pasting it, but let's Wait let's go through it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Technically. If you did that, I have to like cite everything. And yes, that. you have legally you have to cite everything because now it's copyright infringement. Yes, yes. Okay, so as we may think, was an article written in 1945 and by Mister. I don't know how to say his first name. I'm just say Bush. I uh, sounds good to me. Yeah, for the, uh for the Atlantic, which I didn't even know was around that long. He uh, pushed scientists to work on systems that will make knowledge, uh, would make store knowledge in a way that people can efficiently access it. He believed that the task of storing knowledge should be left to machine, and doing so will allow society to pass on the tedious work of memorizing existing knowledge so that people can focus on evolving beyond what we already know. I'm a firm believer of that. Um, Me too. This day and age, you don't have to remember anything. As long as you know how to look it up, you know everything. I don't know how to do math that well. I just use my calculator. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a little yeah. bit different. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, all I can do is basic math. Yeah, me too. But like anything tedious, I open my Excel and I just create formulas and I yep. 
you know, I just, I don't do those tedious work of accounting and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, so the only way you can advance around what we already know is to be able to store knowledge and easily retrieve it so knowledge can be passed down for future generations. Which would be our generation is the cloud. And the cloud, yes. How old are you? Uh, 30, 32. Okay, so you're a millennial like me. Yeah, 89. Yep, 86. Uh, you want me to just jump right to the next one or yep. anyone has any input? Yep. Okay. So I try to read into the, you know, the Wikipedia page had concept creation, but it doesn't really talk about concept creation. You just talk about memics, but okay, I'm just hopefully yep. I got this right. So Bush was able to predict that machines would be able to combine lower level technology to store more and more can you, knowledge. Can you give us an example of lower level technology? Something like uh, prints, so like, you know, print something. I'm not getting, like automated typewriters, not that, but you know what I'm talking about? Like See, newspapers, stuff copying, like that. Copy copying machine. That. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Right? Yeah, that, um, at, well, in the forties they had something like that, right? Like they didn't yeah, have. They did an automatic typing machine as an example. Yeah. Well, we're at a crossroads right now with technology, which we don't know which way it's going to go per se, because the older generation like us and the, and the generation before us still know all the old technology. Yeah, then, then yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the rotary phone, like this generation probably won't know yep. what that's about, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely. So uh, one example is Memex, which she said would be would be a memory kind of. I call it a memory format. Click on it. Um, this is links us, I think, to yeah, click on the it. actual. Okay. Oh, actually, no. This is out of order. Yeah, it is. This, this is supposed to go first. Okay, I'm gonna go. That's all right. To this one. So, Bush robot device that would store books, records, communications, call Memix. A device like Memix was not like anything the world has seen before when Bush wrote about it in 1945. The, di the device was supposed to supplement a person's memory and acts on an expansion, acts as an expansion to store more data. It was intended to make knowledge more accessible to, so that information can be easier to digest and understand. The concept of Memex influenced the devel development of the creation of, oh wow, that's a <laughs> creation of the World Wide Web and the hypertext system. Bush cool. was able to predict, predict that machines, and you know, I said this already, were able to comp combine lower level technology to store more knowledge. One example was Memix, which is said, what she said would be in a memory format that can store high resolution microfilms and display on multiple screens for viewers to see and an interface for the viewer, viewer to control. It is almost like he is talking about a user viewing images from a hard drive using an interface on a computer. The fascinating part is that the article was written in 1940s when personal computers did not exist. Uh, computers at the time were enormous and filled a whole room. And I could have expanded on that, but yep. uh, concept realization. It was also predicted that technology like hypertext, the internet, online encyclopedia, and the World Wide Web would be invented. Bush say that information can be loaded into a memex linked together through associated trails all the information that would have taken a whole library to store can be compressed into something that will fit onto end of a desk. The information can then be easily retrieved without requiring someone to manually sort through each piece of information. It can also be retrieved on a single screen with the ability to write comments and the thought process will be linked to the path for each user, which is similar to Wikipedia. Conclusion. Many of Bush prediction came, came through and this article was influential to many scientists and inventors. Most knows, knows really Doug Engelberg, 
was an inventor that was start that started work on a computer mouse hypertext and word processor after we read and we as we may think essay. The main prediction that Bush wrote in the essay helped shape how we store and retrieve information today. Companies like Google and Facebook can attribute some of their success to the advancement to the groundbreaking work that Bush and many inventors that came after him. We would not be standing at the screen typing this essay without their help. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Could be someone else who invented it, right? <laughs> exactly. If someone didn't do it, someone else would have done it. If that makes sense. So, uh, but I guess they advanced it sooner, being the one that they they realized it sooner than everyone else and helped yeah. push it forward. Aliens? Probably. They came back and like, hey, it looks like humans need something like this. <laughs> yeah. So what, what, what was your thoughts? It was pretty interesting. You know, I was, when you're reading it, you almost think like he's talking about it in present day, uh, present day because you know, 1945, it really didn't have stuff like this, right? So no. for him to talk about interfacing with on a single screen and pulling information up is interesting to read about, you know, back in that time. <laughs> they, they didn't even have a, TVs weren't out in 1945, I do believe. Yeah, so they pro people probably think he was crazy, you know, but, you know, a few after him followed through. Oh, and yeah, definitely. <laughs> So thoughts about the test project thing? Good, bad, and different? Don't care? No, it's, it's pretty good. It's a good way to like use what we learn in class and also write an essay about it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did you think it was going to be multiple choice? I actually thought it was going to be multiple choice because yeah. you, you did say that this is going to be on the test, so I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, like... all the tests are in essay forms. Okay, so this is what we're going to expect. Okay. Yep. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> um, Fenner, any questions, comments, or concerns about what you did? Oh, we lost him. Oh, he's not in here anymore? Oh, no, he's not. No, what the heck? Doesn't it doesn't tell you when someone leaves the chat? <laughs> I I don't know. Um, probably because I have it in full screen mode. Oh, okay. I have like an ultra wide screen and like a another thirty two inch monitor on top of that ultra wide. <laughs> nice. I'm a I'm on my MacBook Pro. Because the AC is in the living room and nowhere else. Oh, really? <laughs> and the studio, it's about 98 degrees in the studio. Oh, mine was 98. My wife finally moved out of the extra spare room we had. So yep. I moved my computer over. Okay. Open up your essay again. Uh, the whole essay or the one we... Oh. There we go. Yep. Okay, go to your first one. As you may think. Let me give Are you a we, I have a question. Are we able to like order, like put this in a certain order? No. Or that no? Okay. Because you can't. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Well, there is a way to do it, but we don't have yeah. enough time to go over it. I know that's fine. I was just wondering if it was the easy way to do it right now. But yeah. Oh, there there is it's just a pain in the butt. Not really a pain in the butt, but we have more important things to do. Right. <laughs> okay. Hang on one second. Let me find you. 
I'm going to give you uh, something special. Okay. Oh, God, I won't want to copy and paste. No. Let me, let me Google that. I wonder why Zoom doesn't let you copy and paste. Well, I can just ask Jeremy. I know him personally. <laughs> That's the Dude. gentleman that created the platform. Really? Uh huh. Wow. He sold it, all right? Is it, or are you still? No, um, he didn't sell it. It's open, so anybody can use it um, and make anything you want. You just can't change the source code. Oh, okay. All right. So what we're gonna do? You're gonna create a new tiddler. Okay. We're gonna call this. Um, test, test template, or I say template, however you want to do it. Okay, there's going to be no tag, no tag. Oh, uh, no? Okay. Oh. Okay. You want me to copy what you wrote there? Yep, that's, no, that's your tag. Uh, Without, so that would be essay, right? No? No, no, no. The dollar sign. That I just sent you goes up into the tag name. Oh, 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 I tell you that's supposed to be what my tag. Okay, so that one goes there. Oh no, that's that. Like that? Yep. Seconds. So, do you remember your West Link filter? Yeah, the one we just used? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Copy it. Okay. And you want me to put it here in the body? Or no, yeah, in the body. Sorry. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is delete the my essay. Oh, like this essay part? No. No, no, the your titular my essay. Oh, okay. Delete it. Oh. Yep. Delete it. Okay, check mark that. And what okay. did I do? Um, open it. Let's see. Oh, is this already linking it or? No, I dang it. Let me pull up my notes. But a weird thing is, is this this is only showing one, right? right nope. here. I'm gonna give you a different code. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can copy that. Let's see. <laughs> That's a lot to write. I oh, know. Nope. Can't copy it. Unless you highlight it, but it doesn't let you copy it. No. Let's filter. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not in your, that's in your body. Oh, so do I have to type this again? Oh, well, no. Just type your dollar sign. Do your drop down. No, I think, oh, is it still going to be there? Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. Okay, so. Let's do that. So we're gonna do a list filter equals is current. And the tag's gonna be essay. Okay. So let me do this part. No, no, leave tag. Self-design exercises, take all that out. And that's where you're going to put your um, essay. Okay. So I'm missing something. I'm missing. Yes, you are. Oh, two. What's this? Yes, two. Okay. Now hit save.
Okay. Just like that? Yep. So okay. do you know what that's saying? Filter. It's gonna, it's, you're gonna list everything that has a tag named essay. Okay. Okay. But, but it didn't show nothing though, right? Well, it's, not, not. it's not gonna, if it shows nothing on the template, it means it's working. Oh. So check okay. mark that. Okay. That's not coming up right. Can you um, bring up the edit for your test template? This filter details. Okay. Okay, right to an H1. Do I return H1? And put. Uh, template title. Oh, I should probably capitalize. It doesn't matter. This is just a test. Oh, okay. Okay. So check mark it. So bring up your test. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's working. Something else is. Oh, why would it? Oh. Oh, because oh, okay, because I tagged this last week. I'm a little confused on why that happened. How's that link? It's well, what it is, we're we're into the source. So oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, now we <laughs> go it's just back. weird. Okay, go back. Right, yeah, go back to your little list that you made. Not that one, the one you did by hand. Um didn't we delete that? Ah, I could have swore I just saw it. This one. Unless uh, like like a about like similar list to this. Okay. Yeah, we deleted that. Okay, go back Yeah, down. we did. Yep. Go back down to your template. Okay. Right after template title, hit enter. Do your list link filter. That's what we got. Okay. So let me. So you want me to put that there? Yep. Okay. Check mark. Check mark. And test. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, that cool. works well. Yep. So click on it on any of those. And see how okay. it's always on the bottom. Ah, I see that. But then it's not, it doesn't happen like the way uh, Fender had it, where it's like after every paragraph. That, okay. No. Um, so, that, so that's great. Okay. Yeah, because he typed those in by hand. So this makes it so we don't have to type it in hand, by hand, and it gives us a navigational menu. Right, so, yeah, no, that's good. So where it says template title, name it something meaningful. Uh, outline, oh. or, or I call it outline because it's almost like an outline. Yes. Yeah. Or you just can put links, uh, section links. <laughs> section links. Oh yeah, so okay. There we go. Oh, wait, why, why is it doing that? It, it, should I keep that there, the H1? Or? Yeah, you got to do a hard H1. You got to code it. Oh, yeah. Because oh. we're using, like, code, so you got to code it. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Okay, so get rid of your explanation point. Okay. 
it's open angle bracket. Oh. H, H, yep, you had it right. Oh. H, H1, close the bracket. Nope, nope, we're not done yet. And right after, it. yep, you do a backslash H1. Like this? Yep. Nope, backslash H1. Uh, backslash. No, use your carrot. Use your right angle. Oh, oh, that. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't okay. cold. <laughs> no, no. The slash is before the H. Oh, before the H. Yep. There we go. So what that is telling the computer is, we're going to start heading one, section links, and we're going to terminate H one. Right here. Yep. Oh, okay. So that terminates it. Oh, there we go. Now it works like a H one. Yep, beautiful. Okay. So then we go on anyone that has an essay, it will be, you know, have that right at the bottom. Awesome. Now go to any other tiddler that you make. Uh, Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That's not there. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that saves a lot of time compared to the manual way of doing it. Oh, oh, heck yeah. Think smarter, not harder. I don't think smarter. I'm, I I'm forgot it. it. Uh, work smarter, not harder. Yes. Well, that's what I do all the time. I, I'm lazy, so I find the easiest way around doing things. <laughs> What's your program major? Uh, I'm business administration. Yeah, those are pretty lazy people. Yeah, we try to find the easiest way. To, my Excel thing is like all formulas for everything that I do. <laughs> people that do coding is no different. We like to copy and paste everything. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, what was it? What class was it? Uh, accounting class. Yeah, I made Excels for almost everything. It, it made the class so much easier. Oh, yeah. Okay. So how can we make this more interesting? your essay because it's pretty boring pictures oh yeah pictures okay so uh let's go find mm, i don't know his name let's put a picture of this guy in there yeah can can i drag an image like this over click on you it know, i have oh, a... click on the image yeah, I was gonna like. Can you see both screens or just one that right now? I can, I can only see one. Cause I was thinking about doing like, cause it, this is the next window coming in. Yep. No. Oh no, it's a link. Oh, there we go. No, right. I'm messing up. Give me a second. <laughs> no, no, we can do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you a little HTML. Put that back on there. Okay. So it's gonna be open angle bracket. Uh. Open angle bracket. Yep. Okay. Think. Hang on. So it's going to be IMG, which means image. Okay. And close S it? Nope, oh. nope. Keep it open. Okay, space. SRC equals. So SRC means your image source. Oh, okay. So, so you're going to use the parenthesis. And right after the G and that one, you're going to close it out with an angle bracket. Ah, there you go. Nice. So that would be like... Um... You don't even have to do that. No? No. Just copy that whole code. And close this. I'll oh, just keep that just in case. Yep. And then I'll put it on to... This one or no? Because no. you don't want. 
Well, now it doesn't matter because we have the section links. Oh, but I can put it here, right? And like, no? No, because no, you transcoded everything. So you got to actually put it on. As we may think, intro. Yep. Now it looks like a tiddly wiki. Yeah. Or I mean, uh, Wikipedia. <laughs> okay, don't forget your um, source link. Yeah, um, got to find, do, do we just put Wikipedia as a source then, or? Yeah, you got the way the site to source is, you got to use the full um, URL code. Okay, so I'll just put right underneath. Right on the bottom. Or at the very bottom? Yep. If I put it here, wouldn't it put it in? Okay, no, okay, source. Okay. Beautiful. Maybe we can, let's see, what other image can we find? Well, you don't want to go too overboard. So go to a different section. Uh, concept creation. No. Oh, no, me. Right. Close that concept creation. You can X that right out. We don't need that. Okay. So save it just in case. <laughs> yep, just saved it. Yep. Okay. Oh, we got to open that one back up. Oh, uh, no, not that one. Sorry. That was actually the intro. Okay. No, no, no. We want to go to your test one. Oh. Okay. Scroll down. Go to the next section. There is no need to use the right side of the screen since you got it right down there. Uh, we all inter uh, interact through the, okay. So, what, what, else, what would you put in this one? To make it more interesting. Hmm. Maybe. I can only think of images, but I don't know. Well, yeah, images are fine. But I need to find a consecration. So maybe something like. I mean, you could put. Go to Google. Type creationism. Don't ask me how to spell it. Right there. Hit enter. Go to images. Evolution for screen. <laughs> I kind of like what that means. <laughs> then take it. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. Copy that. Uh, let's see if I can memorize this source off the top of my head. So we're doing image. Equals. Oh, equal. So wait. There you go, you already imported it. <laughs> no, because it did it itself. <laughs> That's all right. Just get rid of the code. Yeah. It imported it like into your server, right? That's what it did. Imported it to you, into your little tiddly. What's oh, okay. called into your database. Okay. Okay. So next section. Uh, so we went down to that one, cost realization, and we talked about hypertext encyclopedia. Mm. Hypertext. So go. Oh. No, go ahead. I was going to like hypertext, but I, I want to see what the images look like for hypertext. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't like this. Uh, don't forget what do this. It doesn't matter what I think. I'm just the reader. I, I like the, it gives you a good, you know. Yep. This is exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, I'll take this one. 
And you want me to put a source for both of yes. those ones. Yep. yep, don't forget the sources. Do you want me to do it for the last one too? I have to look that up again. Yep. Yeah. This one's going to <laughs> Do it the easy way. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I think that's how it goes, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, personally, uh, I've never skinned a cat, but. I wonder how they can coin that, you know, saying it's kind of weird. I don't think anyone ever skinned a cat, but. <laughs> I don't know. Go to Google yeah. and look it up. How to skin a cat? No, no, but. Where uh, is that anyway? Oh, not that. Now you're going to look like a psycho. <laughs> there's the origin of saying. There we go. No, you had it right on your screen. Is already there? Or what? Oh, okay. Yep, right there. Uh, uh, hey, wall. Let me just copy this right here. Put it right in there. Find someone that doesn't make us want to pay something. There we go. So there's a proverb, which is short, common saying. Uh, I don't know what they're saying at that point. I'm going to skim through. 1854. Kill there are more ways to kill a cat than choking it. Oh, so they, so they kind of made it more friendly, kind of. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah. You see, the original animal in question was a dog. There was more way to kill a dog than hanging. Okay. I think we went too far down the rabbit hole. Yeah, maybe we should just stick with that. That got a little dark on that. So <laughs> we're just going to go away from that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me get the source for this. Up. What? Oh, oh, I know what happened here. See, the, when it shares the same file name, because this one has. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to find a different one for that. No, no, you can use it. No, this one right here. Uh oh, yeah, uh, yeah. this section. Yeah, you just got to find the. Uh, what I did to get around there, I just saved it. OK. And then I just put it on my desktop. And I... Or you just copy the URL. Oh, OK, so let me just address. Let me just yep. make sure. Oh, that's it. And now I'm going to go ahead and memorize this. And just close it. Yep. There we go. There we go. And then let me put the source, which is this website. But it's really a source of the image, so I'm going to put it right below it. And I always do my sources below it. Um, like at the very bottom, like yeah, at the okay. very bottom. Okay, so that but works. Just because, as me as a reader, I don't really care where you got it from, so I don't even see it. Oh yeah, but, you don't. But, yep. but, but for legal reasons, you have to put the source. So for me, I always put the source on the bottom. Okay, no, that works. Okay, so we did the real conclusion. We can talk about. Uh, Go to a computer mouse mean. Did I Google it? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, you can use any image that you want, <laughs> you yeah. know, because it has a mouse in it. <laughs> so if you want to make it comical, make it comical. No, you just can't do every section comical. Break up the monotony. Yeah, I try to find a good one. Uh, yeah, I like this one right here. There you go. Yeah, that, that looks like a funny one. <laughs> Cause that, I don't know how many times this happens a lot. You ever try to show someone who can, how to type something, I mean, how to go through a use interface and they can't find a mouse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so conclusion, put it right here. Did I copy the image link? Let me just see. I think you did. Okay. So image. There we go. And then.
Okay. So then we can look at all of it, which is uh, this one, well, there, this one. Yep. Okay. So what we're going to do is make another index page using a list link filter. Okay. Okay, and name it essay. Okay. Now make it more interesting. So right now it's just boring. Hmm. Like um, you can do that. What's the title of it? Of everything? No, no. Uh, in the here? body. Yep, in the body. Oh, um, Probably want to bold that since it's the title. Um, let's make that an H1. Want to break the line? I've got to do H. Was it HR? Nope. Don't don't break the line. That's fine the way it is. Okay. Now, take the as we may think. Copy it. Everything. No, or just just the wording. Hey, copy. Yep. Go into Google. Type in as we may think. Images. Oh, I like this. This is the one that we've seen. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. Okay, let's go click that. Oh, it goes here. Copy image source. Let me just that, make sure it's okay. That's good. Yep. It fits in perfect. So then we're gonna put it below or above. Um, what do you think? I feel like I feel like it looks better above. But no, wait. Let me see how it looks. There, there is no right and wrong answer. Let me see how it looks. Uh, and there's. Because it already says it right here. Yep. So then it says it up there too. So I'll get rid of the title. But then it wouldn't link to it, right? It doesn't. Okay. No, no, you don't need the title. Oh, okay. Because you got the picture for it. Yeah. So, so that, that looks good. Yeah. Check mark it. Beautiful. Yeah, that looks good. So let's go to anyone. This is intro. Yep. I go to the next one. Consecration. Uh, I really should be going on to the meme mix, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't. Each each section of my uh, paragraph, each yep. paragraph doesn't have to go in the same or kind of. <laughs> well, a regular book goes in a. Hey, I'm gonna cut my tongue. Uh, a linear, you have to read it linear. So what we're doing in this class is we're doing everything non-linear. You know what those mean? I mean, it can go in any direction. It can... Linear is straight line, non-linear. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Yep. Shh, my daughter's running over here. That's all right. <laughs> so is all your grammar and everything correct? I hope so. I have an app that kind of reads through it, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, what app do you use? I use uh, Grammarly. Oh, so do I. Let's run it through Gram Grammarly. Actually, I might not run it through because I, I have it as a on here, right? I don't think I turn it on, but let's let's see. Yeah, you uh, have to you have to go to the Grammarly website and just copy and paste. Okay, so let's go Grammarly. Grammarly saves my life. It makes it so when I write emails, I don't look stupid. Okay. So I'll go to new. Yep. Uh, give me just one second. I'm just okay. trying to get my daughter to settle down over here. Sorry, take your uh, time. Yep. Here you go. Okay. So let's go put it here and let's take 
Now, do you have the paid version or unpaid? It's, I kind of wrote it on the Word and just moved it over. So I had to use my uh, Tilly to transfer it over. No, no, your Grammarly. Do you have the free one or is it the paid? No, I pay for it. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and drag. On the you, didn't, very you didn't pay full price for it, did you? I, pulled, I paid a year and they have like some kind of discount. I forgot how much. For I like seventy nine ninety nine. Something like that. Yeah. I always I always wait to get those emails. I guess I didn't do a good job at all then. Look at that. Wow. So okay, let's go through every single one. Uh where is it? Was there a way that I can just like jump through each one? No. Okay, so scientists <laughs> could. No, that's just a suggestion. They don't like passive for some reason. Well, if you just click on, uh, you don't have to click on the words. So go to in doing, remove the phrase. Oh, down, down, over on your right hand side. Oh. You can, huh. okay, click on easily. No, uh, down, I don't know. down, down, that. Oh, and, okay. Okay, you don't have to click the word. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So it's telling me that one's overused, so that's yeah. fine. Uh, just read, that's not really. They tell me I use knowledge too much. Yeah. I have this written as a business kind of thing, so it's gonna try to word it as business. I don't know if I change it or not. Cause uh, that's, a, that's a style that this thing correct to. Go to like, goals. Uh, right hand side. Yeah, so I don't know if it's general. Okay. Academic. Neutral. Informal. Knowledgeable. Wait, no. Yeah. Informal. Um it doesn't let me move to informal. It's just neutral. Yeah, just keep neutral. Okay. And your intent yeah. is to inform. Okay. Okay. Hit done. No, still still have a lot of stuff here. <laughs> so let's go pass down. For yeah. well, you can do all this stuff on your own time. Okay, yeah, but you can see that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, so pretty much since you're the only one that actually showed up and stayed, <laughs> <laughs> I came in late too, so I don't yeah. know how much that gives me credit for. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Well, you did what everyone else is going to have to do for homework. Okay. So your homework and everything is already done for the weekend. Oh, awesome. That'll, that'll help me out. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just publish the YouTube video and send it to everyone. Okay. Except, except for you. Okay. So there's nothing to do. Uh, any reading do we need to do or? Nope. No? That's okay. all I want you guys to do is um, do this because this took us. Oh, Quite a long time. Yeah, hour, an, hour. an hour and 20 minutes. So, nope. But come Wednesday, this is all due. So, you're already set. And Wednesday, we go on to the next section. Awesome. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Questions, comments, concerns? No, I follow along just fine. So, no questions. All right. Perfect. All right. Well, you have a nice weekend then. You too. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you Wednesday. See you. Bye-bye.